So today, in this Evangelion video, we are actually going to be doing something slightly different from what we normally do, and we're going to be talking about a fan theory that could completely change not just my opinion, but probably a lot of people's opinion on the rebuild. I recently made a video talking about why I don't like the rebuild very much, which I will link in the description box down below. However, if this theory proves to be true, then I may actually end up really liking them. So today we're going to be talking about two different pretty popular theories in the Evangelion fandom that I'm kind of merging together for the sake of this video. So today we're going to be talking about the fact that Mari may be Shinji and Asuka's daughter. Of course, there is a very popular theory that Mari is just a time traveler and just traveled back in time from the events of End of Evangelion, but I don't think that's what happened exactly. Because there is another very popular theory that has a lot of evidence that we're going to be going over in this video before we get to the Mari stuff. And that is the fact that the rebuilds are actually a sequel to End of Evangelion and the original TV series. One of the first things you notice when watching Evangelion 1.0 is that Second Impact was clearly very different in the rebuilds as it was in the original series. However, you also notice that the effects that Second Impact had are awfully similar to the ones of Third Impact in End of Evangelion. In fact, the first shot that you see in 1.0 is exactly the same as one of the final shots in End of Evangelion. It is, of course, a wave of blood-red water on the beach. Also, when we see tanks arriving to help with the confrontation with the Fourth Angel, you can see that the sea that they are near that was blue in the original series is also red in this. Now, if that was all, then we could probably just assume that this was just a different depiction of Second Impact. However, there's another thing that you see in Evangelion 1.0 that is even more fascinating. In some of the opening images of 1.0, we are shown some of the damage that was caused by Second Impact. However, something that didn't appear in the original does appear. A giant white outline that is almost identical to the forms of the mass production Evangelion that were seen in the ending of Evangelion when Shinji and Asuka were on the beach. The white outline is almost certainly intentional and is way too similar to the mass production Evangelion to be a coincidence. But that isn't even all. We, when we see a shot of the moon in End of Evangelion, we see that it is stained with blood during Third Impact. The moon we see throughout the rebuilds also though has a stain of blood on it. And it's also worth noting that from our understanding, Second Impact would not have affected the moon. I personally don't see how an event like Second Impact could cause the moon to be stained with blood. Even if Second Impact somehow affected the moon, you would also need to assume that there were enough people on it to cause a massive stain of blood that you could see from the surface of the earth. It is almost like the blood was spatted out of something close to the moon. Perhaps the blood came from Lilith's neck when she took on her giant form during End of Ava. As I said earlier, in End of Evangelion we do blood spewing out of Lilith's neck and staining the moon. And there is of course probably one of the strangest things in the rebuild that every single person watching them picked up on. Something incredible Incredibly strange, Karu seems to remember Shinji as if he had met him before. The third one again, huh? You haven't changed. I'm looking forward to seeing you. Shinji Ikari. Prior to meeting him. He seems to be familiar with Shinji Ikari somehow, but that's impossible because in this world he's never met him before, unless he somehow remembered the previous world. Perhaps calling it a previous world wouldn't be correct because it appears to be the same planet, the same Earth, the same timeline even. It's almost as if a part of reality had been reset. Things were set back to the way they were in the beginning of the series and everybody who died would return to life. However, the planet is still left in the same way it was after End of Evangelion. But the people of the world don't remember that timeline at all, so they assume that damage is from Second Impact. The reset clearly was not perfect and there are clear differences, such as Asuka having a completely different last name. However, the biggest difference is an entirely new person seeming to have popped into existence, Mari. Despite her having been in two movies, we actually know very little 
little about Mari. However, there is one thing I've noticed that is very interesting about her. That is the fact that she is able to synchronize with Evangelion Unit 2. And that brings me to a theory that I mentioned in the very beginning of the video. Mari is the daughter of Shinji Akari and Asuka Langley Soryu. That is right, I specifically said Asuka Langley Soryu and not Asuka Langley Shikinami. At the end of End of Evangelion, try saying that three times back, we see Shinji Akari and Asuka Langley Soryu left alone in a post-Third Impact world with only the small hope that other people will return. As confirmed by Yui Akari, however it is worth noting that we actually don't have much of a reason to trust what Yui is saying. However, assuming for once in her life Yui wasn't lying and wasn't attempting to manipulate the son she claims to love, and she was telling the truth, people should be able to return if they want to. However, just because the possibility to return exists doesn't mean it will happen. It is just as likely that people won't return as it is that they will return, which leads us with the possibility of Shinji Akari and Asuka Langley Soryu being trapped in a post-Third Impact world all alone. Trapped alone together and working together to survive in this post-Third Impact world, Shinji and Asuka would have plenty of time to work out their problems and work on getting along and could eventually find love. And with this love, eventually they would conceive a child, Mari. And with Asuka as a mother, Mari would be the granddaughter of Kyoku Zeppelin Soryu. Meaning, there is a possibility that that blood relation of grandparent and grandchild could possibly allow her to synchronize with Evangelion Unit 2. However, there is obviously a clear problem with this. Shinji, Asuka, and Mari are in a post-Third Impact world all by themselves not the rebuild. The general theory is that at some point in time, Shinji was given the option somehow to reach that reality. This opportunity, if given to Shinji, would probably be given to him by Raya and Nami. And because Shinji was in control of the wreath that granted to him, and he loves his child dearly, Mari was included in the reset, being given a life in this new reality where she is no longer the daughter of Shinji Akari and Asuka Langley Soryu, but is an Evangelion pilot and would be able to grow close to the two again and be with them in some form. Shinji and Asuka's mutual love could also be the reason they were able to connect far more easily in 2.0. Mari claims that her favorite smell in the world is the smell of LCL. Perhaps that is because in the previous reality, she grew up in a world surrounded by a sea of LCL with Jindy and Asuka. So the gist of the theory is that after Third Impact, Shinji Akari and Asuka Langley Soryu fell in love, had a child, and eventually Shinji would give him the option to reset reality somehow, and when he reached that reality, their child was given an existence in this new reality where they are no longer her parents. That child is Mari, and because they were her original parents, she is able to synchronize with Evangelion Unit 2 due to being the granddaughter of the soul that occupies it. But I mentioned in the beginning of the video that this theory could change my entire perspective on the rebuild, and the reason for that is that there is a direct change that you could take this theory that could be very fascinating. Resetting reality and trying to do it all over again in a better world where everybody is happier is just another form of running away. Perhaps Shinji has to realize the dick reality he is trying to create where he does things better and prevents third impact and things don't happen the way they did and him and Asuka don't end up alone on a deserted planet with just their daughter and just another form of running away from his problems. Perhaps Shinji will end up needing to undo the reset in order to prevent an even worse future. Perhaps one where him and Asuka don't even survive. Or perhaps Shinji himself has to die for this world to have a better outcome. But at the end of the day, Shinji will realize that what he has done in creating this reality was just him using the powers granted to him and offered to him as another form of running away, just like he did when he initiated instrumentality before Third Impact. It would take all the rebuilds and turn them into this sort of learning mechanism for Shinji as a character from the original theory. It's a fascinating concept and I would really enjoy it if something along those lines happened. Also, I think it would also be great because it would give some reason for Mari being able 
able to pilot Unit 2, because I've never understood why Mari's able to do that. That shouldn't be possible, but it is. But these two theories have always fascinated me, and I really started thinking about it, and I thought they went really well together if thought about a certain way. And I've also always found that when I thought about these theories, my opinions of the rebuild went up, and I thought that if this happened, I would like them more, because I really like that direction for the story. And I acknowledge the possibility that I'm completely wrong about all of this, and all the similarities to the post-end of Evangelion world are just there because Anno wanted to depict Second Impact a lot differently in this version of the series. But I don't think that's it. I think there's more to it because some of the similarities are just so glaringly obvious. But tell me what you think of the theory in the comments section down below. You can follow me on Twitter, linked in the description box down below as well. If you like my thoughts and want to ask me questions about Ava or any other comic books or animes and stuff like that. You can also check out my video where I give you my thoughts on the rebuilds overall and why I'm not necessarily a fan of them in the description box down below as well, and above all else, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more Evangelion anime and comic book-like content. Above all else, guys, have a great day.